My name's Brent Mayhew. Uh, I'm the head of the Visual Communication and Applied Arts Group. And I'm here today to talk to you about the process of how to put a portfolio together and how to approach your interview for BA Graphic Design, BA Illustration and BA Fine Art. They're very different courses, but actually a lot of the things we're looking for are very similar. And so uh, hopefully something of uh, what you'll be able to take away from today will help you in for whichever course you're applying for. So how do you approach putting a portfolio together? The first thing to remember is it's not about the destination. It's the journey. That's what we want to see. So what do I mean by that? Well, you might think that everything we want to see is the most amazingly polished, finished work. And oh my God, you know, they're only going to take me if the work is amazing. That's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is the spark of creativity. We're looking for people who are not scared of trying new things. It doesn't matter whether it doesn't work. So when you come to put your portfolio together, think about it though, that way. So the first thing to do is, yeah, you'll have some amazing stuff you want to show us. There'll be some stuff you've done at college maybe. Or if you're a mature student, stuff you've done within your work. Or even if you've studied courses that you haven't produced a lot of artwork and a lot of what you've produced is your own stuff. You'll be sorting through that and thinking to yourself, what is it they really want to see? And you might choose a maximum of about 10 different things to show us, finished work. But some of it may not even be finished. Don't worry. You may well have decided trying a, a painting in acrylics that you've never tried before. And it's not finished. Still bring it along. We want to see it. And also start thinking about how you got there. This is the journey. Start, make sure you bring along to us your sketchbooks and uh, maybe actually bits from Instagram or blogs that you've put together. We want to see it all because what we're after is seeing that creativity in you. The rest we can do. Take, for example, if you're coming along to a, uh, an interview for the graphic design course, you may think that we want you to know Adobe Suite inside out. We want your Photoshop skills to be amazing, your InDesign skills to be brilliant. No, we'll teach you all of that. What we want is to, you to, to see someone who's creative, who's interested in maybe a bit of typography. It doesn't mean we expect you to do it well. And don't worry about your sketches not being great. It doesn't matter. It's not what we're after. We're just after where the idea is. And don't stick to the same things. Show us lots of different things. I said a little couple of minutes ago about talking about doing acrylic paintings. Oh, what I mean is, is try everything. You may have never ever tried using uh, pen and ink. Try it. You may have never really done much in Photoshop. Try it. You may have never thought about animating something. Well, try it and bring it along to show us. And how do you put all that together? Well. If you're coming along on site for an interview, you can bring along your sketchbooks, brilliant. Uh, portfolios, bring along a portfolio case and don't spend loads of money on it. It's not needed and it's, it's not going to actually be used again. Instead, buy something nice and simple that you can put your work in just to protect your work from where you're coming from, your home, to get to us. We don't actually judge anyone by the quality of the portfolio or how expensive it is. Just not needed. It's merely something to bring your work in. That's if you're coming in. But what if you're maybe a mature student or an international student or someone who can't make it and you're actually going to send us a digital portfolio? Easy. Again, just take pictures. You may well have created a lot of work maybe in Photoshop and you can make PDFs. You may well love to put a portfolio together as a PDF in InDesign but don't have the skills. Don't worry. Send it all to us as individual pieces. There are plenty of online portfolio websites that are free. Easy to upload your work. Use them. What about sketchbooks? Easy. Just use your mobile phone to take a quick time movie or a simple movie of you going through your sketchbook. Feel free to talk to us about your sketchbook as you're filming that. Maybe get someone, a friend or a family member just to hold your camera while you're actually telling us about it. It's easy to do. So you've put all this together and you're coming along for your interview. What is it to expect? Well, number one, don't think of it as this really difficult interview you've got to do. Stop, relax. It's about us literally telling you about us as much as it is about finding out about you. When you come along to your interview, your portfolio is the starting point of our conversation. 
We want, we, nothing we enjoy more than talking to you about your work. How did you get there? What were you thinking of? Would you have done it differently? What do you want to do? How do you find out about different things? And then it becomes a two-way conversation. It should be just as importantly about you asking us questions. Making sure, for example, that it's not just the right university for you, but it's the right course. So there's lots of questions to ask. How can you know what questions to, to ask? Do your research. Go online. Go out and find out about our course. Who are our alumni? Who actually has studied here and what have they gone on to do afterwards? So you can actually see maybe some of the work they've produced and ask us about it. Think about what are the important questions. You might have been to a few universities on open days. What are important questions? Well, how much contact time are you going to get every week? What facilities have you got access to? What programs, software, will you be trained in? Do I need to have a computer? Can I have access to plenty of computers at the university? What is the library like? How much of it will be online? How much is offline? These are all questions that you should ask to actually help you make the right decision about whether this is the right university for you. And as I say, just relax. Best advice for the day, turn up early. I can't stand it whenever I'm late. Whenever I'm late anywhere, I start panicking. So my advice to anyone is, is if you're going to go through something like this, turn up early. Go get a cup of tea, cup of coffee, have a walk around, relax. Make sure you've got plenty of time to look at the facilities. Make sure you've got plenty of time to have a look around the university. And then when you come into your interview, uh, bring some water along. Always good if you fancy it. Uh, just sit down, relax. It's a very informal process. It's not a whole load of us. It's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. We never ever interview as panels. It's always just one-on-one. -on -one. We always interview within our base rooms. That's the studios that you will be taught in, so you get a chance to have a look around them. And as I say, relax and let that portfolio be the start of the conversation, the interview with us. Now, after this film, you'll also find some access to some uh, materials to download. We've put some guides together in a simple document for you to download. There's also plenty of information on our course pages on this Odent website. And there's also access to my email address. And it's, that's brentmayhew at solent.ac.uk. Ask me any question you want. If I don't know the answer, I'll find the right course leader to, ask, to answer for you. I hope that's been useful. Thank you.